I'd say my top three transferable skills from being a professional surfer to now being in the business world would be firstly time management. I have never been more busy in my life than I have been outside of surfing. Um, retirement is not all it's cracked up to be, but, it's, but it provides you with so much more opportunity. So managing my time, prioritizing, prioritizing my time, and prioritizing time for me. Because when you're competing, your whole life is about you. And then when you step away from that structure, you fail to make time for you. Secondly, I'd have to say the relationships that I've built up over time, the more success I attained, the more people wanted to associate themselves with me and identified who my true friends were, who were going to be most useful to me. But then when I retired and I wasn't that, that successful athlete anymore, um, I was still able to tap into those networks and those relationships because I built fundamental solid relationships with people out of meaningful things as opposed to just you know just fleeting moments and opportunities and thirdly i'd have to say standing up for myself at the beach and in the boardroom at the asp has then been able to translate into the boardroom in the business world and also in my in my business life you know um, standing up for myself and st continuing to fight for what i believe in my greatest challenge when I retired from professional surfing was feeling a loss of identity and a loss of purpose and a loss of structure. Having travelled the world for 20 years as a professional athlete, I, I literally left high school and became a professional surfer and that's how I identified myself. So I no longer had a title and from that I, I equated to no longer having purpose or a mission in life. So it took me a long time to identify what am I passionate about outside of surfing and what motivates me, what inspires me, what drives me to get up in the morning. And it took me a long time to realise it and fortunately I was able to tap into a network of other retired athletes that helped me identify those things because it also allowed me to realise that it was normal to go through that sense of loss and, and sense of um, inability to find direction and purpose.